Why so serious? I have done that intro any more cheesy and any more close to the camera. Oh well, moving on. The Dark Knight is touted to be the greatest superhero movie ever made, like the godfather of superhero movies. The plot of this movie is that you got the Joker, who has no backstory in this. He just comes out of nowhere and start spreading anarchy and chaos, which causes Batman to break a few rules in order to catch this guy. Everything that Batman Begins seemed to fail on, The Dark Knight got right this time. The editing and the fight scenes in the first movie, as I mentioned, were awful. Just absolutely awful. You cannot tell what was going on. This time, Christopher Nolan actually looked at that and gave us some really impressive fight scenes that are really well edited. Maggie Gyllenhaal is a good replacement for Katie Holmes, who I didn't think was good in the first movie. But Maggie does a really good job taking over the role as Rachel. I think it, the movie's also directed better than its predecessor. Nolan seems to give the audience almost Hitchcock-like tension. I, have, I know I have to be careful when phrasing that because... It really takes balls for somebody to compare something to the work of Alfred Hitchcock. But I really did feel moments of tension in The Dark Knight, as I did when watching stuff like Rear Window and Psycho. And most of that, if not all of it, has to contribute to the late Heath Ledger as the Joker. I mean, the fact that you don't know where he came from, you don't know how he got those scars, you don't know much about him just makes him even more creepy and he's up there with really intimidating characters like Norman Bates. And there is a reason he won that Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Aaron Eckhart is also in the movie playing Harvey Two-Face Dent. Throughout most of the movie he is Harvey Dent and then near the end of the film he turns into Two-Face and that's when the bad stuff goes down. Not, not movie wise, I'm talking about like for the people of Gotham and Batman. Why don't we segue into what I did not like about this movie. Now keep in mind these are all nitpicks and they are not going to affect the rating I'm going to give it. As if it wasn't hard enough to understand him in the first movie, Christian Bale somehow made it possible to make Batman even harder to understand. I don't know how he did it, but he found a way. Also, for wanting to influence people and not wanting to kill anyone, Batman sure blows up a lot of cars and he puts people into situations where they surely have died. Like the scene in the freeway when um, the Joker's trying to kill Harvey Dent. Um, in the tumbler, he ran, ran into a garbage truck. And the gar and like this is the tumbler, this is the garbage truck. The garbage truck goes like this. And the the driver's seat is like crushed. That could have easily killed the driver. But again, nitpick. Now the big thing that irritated me, and I gotta give credit to how it should have ended for pointing this out. Um, when the Joker's in the middle of the street and goes, come on, come on, I want you to hit me, come on, hit me, hit me. Um, Batman looks like he's gonna hit him, but then he like turns to the side and wipes out. And the way it's set up, after he wipes out, the Joker just gives this look of, like, pathetic. And there's a moment of silence to where you could easily edit in the wah, wah, wah sound effect. And how it should have ended pointed out that, yeah, if he hit the Joker, there's most likely a chance that it won't kill him. So that scene, I don't think that really scene really did make Batman look good. I mean, maybe morally it did, but as a badass did not make him look good. But again, it's all nitpicks. It does not affect the rating. It's still a marvelous, marvelous movie that's going to stick around for a long time. Overall rating is five stars. It's not six. It's not that little extra rating, but it's still a great, great movie. Now, let me surprise you with this. This movie is really great. Like, it, I've already said how amazing it is. I love it to death. And yet, it is not my favorite superhero movie of all time. And I'll make a separate video of the other movies that I like over The Dark Knight and 
why exactly I prefer them over the Dark Knight, but that's another video for another time. And if you follow me on Twitter, you can probably get a hint of what movie I do like over the Dark Knight. Alright, so that's my review. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye! Also, Aaron Eckhart's in the movie playing Harvey Two-Face Dent, who is Harvey Dent for most of the movie, and then turns into Two-Face by the end, and goddamn construction! Ugh.